araw isang balik scientist na naman ang ating makikilala. Sa kanyang field, masasabing science meets the arts. Mapapabilib ka sa kanyang mga disenyo at obra. Kilalanin natin si architect Ferdinand Balaag. Dito lang sa Expert Talk Online. Architect, artist, sculptor, author. Si architect Ferdinand Banaag ay hinahangaan sa kanyang larangan dahil sa kanyang husay at talento. Siya ay nakapagtapos sa kursong Bachelor of Science in Architecture mula sa Mapua University. Kumuha siya ng Master of Architecture mula sa Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology, University at Independent Postgraduate Research in Architecture sa Fukui University sa Japan. Sa kasalukuyan ay nasa Everett, Washington si Architect Banaag kung saan itinayo niya ang isang firm ang Studio Solum. Well, Studio Solum is a a firm that I have established here in Washington, Everett. It has a scope, a wide scope, uh, from architecture, design, arts, and many forms of art, from painting, sculpture, uh, 2D, 3D, and digital artwork. So mm -hmm. I had some projects, residential, renovation, addition, and I have also some artworks that were commissioned. So basically, yon. But because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. I had to revive what a bit by doing digital artwork. That means I, I'm here and I'm doing digital artwork that I sell to people who would like, who would be interested. And I also write that because of the pandemic, I had the time to luxury of time to write. I did a lot of writing already. In fact, I have three copyrighted art, uh, uh, books, e-books. And on the pipeline, when I go back to the Philippines, I'll be copywriting, I think, three or four more that I have completed while I was here, uh, while I was in the pandemic. Bilang isang artist, nagkaroon na ng sham na solo exhibition si Architect Banaag sa Amerika, Japan, at sa Pilipinas. Ano kaya ang itinuturing niyang most notable work niya sa ngayon? One of my most uh, notable or what I said, my favorite is the mausoleum that I have designed for my late mother and my sister who met a, an accident here in the, in the U.S. So my mother, when she was about, I think, 80, wanted to have a mausoleum for her. My father, by the way, is buried in the Libingan ng mga bayani, being a soldier. So at that age, she was actually thinking about her death. And I was, I kept on postponing it because I don't want that to happen. But we hit, uh, my sister met a tragic accident and that somehow, uh, uh, gave a more reason for my mother to design the for me to design the mausoleum, and finally I designed it. Uh, it is very personal because there are some uh, uh, messages that you can decode if you know the 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 meaning behind those as uh, forms that are embedded in the architecture. There are, there are layers of this curved form and each curve represents something. And my mother wanted to be not under the ground, not under the soil. So the one on the left is for my sister and the center, you can see that. And the one on the right is for, mother, for my mother. So this was, this was built when my mother was still alive and it's somehow i wanted to have a some kind of a celebration of life mm -hmm. uh, my mother and my sister are both more or less the same personality they have no qualms of giving they are more of uh, very open very loving people person and this somehow is 
my rendition of that in terms of the feeling that it may evoke into the uh, people who might be there. And you know, the, the deep portion there, it was supposed to be uh, purposely for the rain to drop like an mm. opera. When, when the rain comes, this rain will drop on the middle part of that heart shape mm. as kind of an offering to... So there, there are many meanings behind this. Uh, mm. The curves represent the children of my mother. I mean, we are eight in the family, uh -huh. eight um, siblings, but the first one died during World War II. So its curve represents a, a person. And... <laughs> Samantala, noong 2019, ay nakatanggap si Architect Banaag ng Honorable Mention sa GSIS 2019 National Art Competition dahil sa kanyang ginawang sculpture, ang Enigma. Yeah, this is my entry to the 2019 art competition in GSIS. It's called Enigma and another title is Omads to Ibarra. Ibarra is, is my mentor in terms of the art. I started doing artwork when I was already an architect and I met him in one of the exhibits and he more or less ushered me in into the, the world of, of art. And these pieces are my uh, sculptural, it's a metal sculpture uh, that somehow reflect also the, the fluidity of the shape and the form. Uh, and this is the enigma that was awarded the honorable mention. Mm -hmm. I have a series of uh, this kind of studies, uh, but those are some models that I have executed before doing this art actual sculpture. If you would notice, they have the same uh, character as to my architecture, the fluidity of the shape, the fluidity of the form as if uh, there is the continuous flow so that you trace the form as it moves around the sculpture. So it's a kind of a, but you don't know what it is. So mm -hmm. uh, you, there, you uh, maybe would question what is, what is this? Mm -hmm. What is this uh, representing? So it's a, because of that, the title is Enigma. So you have to really, find out what is the meaning behind this. And you are entitled to have your own uh, interpretation of this. Bukod sa pagiging artist, mahusay na architect si Sir Freddy Nell. Nakapagturo siya ng fine arts, interior design at architecture sa maraming educational institutions sa Pilipinas. Gaya sa Hanoi, Vietnam at Ulan Batar, Mongolia sa Raffles Design Institute. Ano kaya ang masasabi niya tungkol sa future ng architecture sa Pilipinas? We are not really that behind in terms of the development worldwide. Uh, and we, of course, we have graduates from different schools in, in the Philippines that have contributed to the development of other countries. When I was in Singapore, I met with my former students. Uh, and they toured me in Singapore and one of the students told me that, sir, I have designed this uh, station, the train station. I, have, I was the one who designed this train station. So that was in 1970s, I think graduates, nah, 1980 graduates. And we, I can say that Mapua, because of the, the condition of that time, most of our graduates went to Dubai and went to Singapore. And we can say that Mapua helped in the development of Singapore and also in Dubai. Noong nakaraang taon ay natanggap sa Balik Scientist Program si Architect Banaag. Okay, I, I applied for the Balik Scientist because I wanted to do the research of what I call this, the integrated composite and modular materials and components that will be applied for socialized housing. Most of the housing in the Philippines the prices of the housing the Philippines is brought down kasi malalayo na yung location where where the the lot is very is cheaper and then pinapaliit nila yung spaces para mas maliit yung construction cost para, para mas malaki ang profit ng ng developer so malayo na yung lugar maliliit pa 
poor quality pa. Kumisan, unlivable. So, kumisan, semi-finish, no? Like sa Santa Maria Bulacan, where you have the Las Palmas. You have a two-story, pero one floor lang. Ikaw nang gagawa ng second floor, tapos yung wall pa niya, unfinished, raw concrete. And yet, they're selling it. And people buy it because there's nothing, you know, that, that they can buy with a similar amount of money. So what I'm proposing is a kind of housing that will be manufactured in the factory, must produce. So therefore, if it is on site, uh, manufactured on, uh, in factory, there is a controlled environment. So you can control the quality, the wastage of materials, the efficiency, and so forth. And that will bring down the cost because of the mass production, because of the efficiency. And then the quality is also improved. So I hope it can reduce 40% of the cost that could be applied for socialized housing. And we have a backlog, more than 7 million, of, uh, 7 million houses are needed by the country at this time, and it's increasing every year. And those who are addressing this are not really uh, affordable no? for, the, for the people. <laughs> so I hope that by doing this research, the first part, this, the first part is a short-term engagement where I do the, the groundwork research. The succeeding parts would be the production of prototypes and the application into uh, the housing units itself. I hope in the whole process, I will come up with uh, houses that are affordable, efficient, and uh, quality in terms of the materials and spaces. Ibinhagi rin ni Architect Banaag ang plano niyang gawin upang mapamura ang mga socialized housing sa Pilipinas. The intention of this research uh, development project that I am pursuing is to come up with the same principle where the state manufactures the houses to bring down the cost because of the profit is now uh, shared, is now uh, flowed back to the buyer, which is the people. And because of the uh, modular, that means the dimensions are modular in, in terms of the walls, the components and so forth, they are, they are of the same uh, base dimension. Yeah. And then you have the composite. Composite is when you combine one or two materials to act as one material. Mm -hmm. So I can have, for example, a built up unit of the window complete already that will be installed. Mm -hmm. When I say complete, it has its uh, hinges, it has its uh, control, it has its framing that will simply be put on the opening or the door that is complete with the hinges, with the jam and so forth. Complete na siya. Same with the kitchen, cabinet, kitchen counter, complete with the sink already. So hindi mo na tatawagin si carpentero para gawa ng forma, et cetera. So kompleto na siya. It's, it, it's produced in the factory. So for the 45 square meters, perhaps 150,000 pesos would be viable for that. Architect Banaag ay isa lamang sa mga magigiting na balik scientist na sa kabila ng maayos na karera sa ibang bansa ay piniling maglingkod sa sariling bansa. Kaya naman kami po sa DOSTV ay saludo sa lahat ng ating mga balik scientist. At ang aming pong hiling ay mas dumami pa ang mga nagsisilbing bagong bayani natin.